For this problem, we're asked to find the average rate of change for the given function negative 7x plus 32, and from x sub 1, the first x equaling 5, to x sub 2, the second x equaling 9. So the first thing to remember is that the average rate of change, which I'll abbreviate ARC, average rate of change, equals the change in the output value. So that would be f at the second x, f of x sub 2, minus the function's value f at the first x, or x sub 1, over the change in the x value, so x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So with that information in front of us, we realize, okay, we know our denominator values, our x sub 2 and our x sub 1, but we don't know the numerator value. So let's start by finding those two values. So f of x sub 2 for this problem, our x sub 2 value is 9. And that means to replace every occurrence of x in the problem, which in this problem there's only one occurrence of x, with the value inside the parentheses. So that would give us negative 7 times 9 plus 32. And if we follow our order of operations, that'll get us negative 63 plus 32, and down to a negative 31. Okay, now we're going to do our f of x sub 1, which for this problem, our x sub 1 value is 5. And we'll do the same thing. We'll replace the x value in the problem, negative 7, with or negative 7 times that value 5 plus 32. So doing out the order of operations here we have negative 35 plus 32 which gets us to a negative 3. Okay so let's see what we have. Putting this together um, into the average rate of change problem. So average rate of change equals x sub 2, or I'm sorry, f of x sub 2, which we just figured out was negative 31, minus f of x sub 1, which we just figured out was negative 3, and I'm being careful because I have a minus and a negative, over the change in x value. So x sub 2, which is 9, minus x of 1, which is 5. Okay, so we've put this together. Now we need to simplify it down, and we'll be there. So we'll start in the numerator putting together a negative 31 minus a negative 3. So first, a minus a negative will turn to plus a positive. So now we have negative 31 plus 3, which gets us to a negative 28 for the numerator, and for the denominator, 9 take away 5 is 4. And finally, negative 28 divided by 4 will give us a negative 7. So our average rate of change from x of 1, 5, to x of 2, 9, for this problem, negative 7x plus 32 is negative 7. And if you notice, let me rewrite the original function, it was ne negative 7x plus 32, a linear function, and if you notice, the um, answer here for average rate of change is exactly the same thing as the slope of the linear function. And this will happen every time, because the rate of change or average rate of change at any two points of a linear function is constant. That's what a definition of a linear function is, and we call that number the slope. So average rate of change of a linear function will always be the slope of the function.